the top, from the top. Oh, oh my god. I don't know if I can even reel to this. Thing. Got him, thank you! Oh my god. What is up y'all? We started this video off today here in the state of Washington. We're actually gonna be meeting up with another YouTuber who I've been watching for a very long time and we're gonna be doing some really sick fishing. I'm excited, I gotta figure out where the heck I'm going. All right y'all, so today we are out here with Addicted Fishing. I'm gonna show you them in a second. We got a whole squad out here, but basically they drove us over here on the boat to this beach and we're gonna be running out some lines for hopefully some freaking giant fish. So we got some lines out for some Chinook, which are king salmon, which are crazy. I've only caught one before. It was in Niagara Falls area, but also there's some lines out for some other fish. We'll show you guys kind of the setups. They're very intricate and there's a lot that goes into them and they're using rocks. Basically at the end of the lines, they're tying rocks, like, like just normal rock. Those rocks are supposed to break off when uh, a fish bites, I guess. And we'll see how that, that works. Let me go introduce y'all to everybody. This is the big squad we got. All right, so here we are, man. We're out with Addicted Fishing. What's up, guys? What's happening? So uh, just a little rundown. What are, what are we doing here? So we are what's called plunking on the Columbia River. And basically what it is, is we're running lines out and fishing three hooks and using our boats to run them out, fishing for sockeye, steelhead, and summer kings. Hopefully we can get you one. Awesome, man. A big one. <laughs> a big one. <laughs> so definitely make sure, I'm gonna put a uh, card up here and then down in the description below. Make sure to check out their channel. They have a bunch of awesome videos up here in Washington. And they, do, they do Alaska stuff and all kinds of trout, salmon, steelhead, really cool fishing up here, a bunch of everything. and. Just go check out the channel now. I'm telling you, I've been watching it for a long time. Link in the description. Yeah, hopefully we're gonna get on some fish, man. I'm excited. We already saw one get pulled up over there. They said when we before we came over here, Sony was getting one. So uh should be really cool, man. Alright, what we got? So this is basically this is your insurance policy. This is gonna hold your wobbler up off the bottom. And what we're doing is we have basically 18 feet of spread. So you're covering 18 feet of water column. With, in the Columbia River, you're allowed to fish three hooks. So you can use three different hooks. So we're running three wobblers with three wobbler floats and covering 18 feet of water. Jeez. So it allows you to really like spread your setups out and really like get into the fish. Wow, that's a lot of stuff. It works really good, man. So we're fishing king, summer chinook is what these are, we're hitting, and then these smaller rods we're fishing for sockeye or steelhead. I'm guessing there's like a bunch of different stuff in this water, right? Yeah, so like, dude, in this river you can catch pretty consistently smallmouth bass, walleye, sturgeon, summer steelhead, spring chinook, summer chinook. Jeez. We use these line counter reels. And the reason we use these is so that way when we, when Jordan, when we drop these rocks, we reset the line counter when he comes up and then we'll know like, okay, he dropped that one at 275. If it gets a fish, then we know, okay, drop it at 275 again. Got you. Drop it at 300 or wherever we were getting the bite. Yeah. y'all right, so we've been out here for a little bit that third rod down he's tightening it up now i guess the wobbler is the one that would have a bigger fish on it it's so like intricate and detailed these setups that they're running like it's there, there's a lot that goes into it but that one definitely moved that was exciting all right let me get the stick Ooh. <laughs> he's quick all right what about this one it's a big stick you ready Ready? One, two, three. <laughs> he just like sticks. <laughs> hey buddy, what you doing in here? You found a little house. No. 
All right, so we've been chilling on the beach for a little bit out here. It is freaking gorgeous. Like it is like sunny and uh, a little breezy and stuff. The water's super nice too, but I think we're gonna switch things up a little bit. Let me go ask one of them. All right, so what's going on here? All right, dude, so we're not getting any bites. It's like extremely slow right now for some reason. We don't know why, but our buddy up river is smashing them, trolling. So we're gonna make a quick decision. We're gonna, we packed up all the stuff. We're gonna run up river and see if we can get these fish trolling. Come follow us. All right, we're about to get picked up. We're at the spot. Dude, look how clear this freaking water is. This carp, like, literally, literally swimming here. It's like a bath water. They were out here fishing though, I guess, and they said it is hot, so we might get into some action, man. I'm excited. Here, I'm gonna grab. All right, guys, so we made a complete change. We decided we would, the bite wasn't happening on the beach, and so we picked up, we completely changed our setup and our approach. We're actually in the boat now. We're gonna do some trolling for these kings. So there's some cold water pumping out of this river here and it's got all these fish sucked in here into this cold water. So we're gonna be trolling these big flashers. They, they just do a rotation like this and then we put a spinner behind them and we're just gonna troll them. Those salmon are gonna come up and crush it. And we're gonna put some fish in the boat. So stay tuned, I hope you guys are liking this. Hopefully we'll have a fish on board here soon. So basically what we're doing here is we have our we got our lead weight and then we have this 22 inch bumper what this does is separates your flasher from your lead and then this is what's called a 360 short bus flasher so what this thing does when it hits the water is the water catches these fins right here and it does this big circle rotation and as that's spinning it's throwing out a big flash but it's also whipping this spinner blade around and making it so those fish bite that spinner and get caught. My flash was coming out of the water when I lost the Was it a good one? Oh, right here, right here, right here. Fish. Get him, get him, get him, go get him, Mike. Get him, just tip the rock straight on. Oh, there he is. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah. Oh, I see it. Real fast, real fast. Oh, my God. You want me to do anything with the GoPro, like turn it on or anything? No, it's on. I don't know if I can even reel to this thing. <laughs> if he wants to run, let him run. Oh, that fish is way out. When in doubt, just reel though. But like when it's running, just. Like if I could, I would. Holy crap. Dude, what go. is going on? Rod a little high. There you go. Perfect. There you go. Oh. Where are you supposed to hold on these rods? Like up here, the reel? They're kind of holding perfect, actually. Let me get this thing off for you, though. Holy crap, dude. Jeff, you want to do the honors? What? Get this thing. Yeah. Oh my god. That's a hard fighting fish, dude. Oh, I tried to reach God. Yeah, baby. That oh my god. Good work, man, in the bow rods, Jeff. Oh yeah, he's pulling. He's oh yeah. <laughs> he's just pulling. I couldn't believe he took off like a freaking rocket, dude. It was so cool because we could see him too. Oh my god. So what we have here is a, a wild Chinook salmon. And you gotta release all wild fish and I'll show you here. So the way you tell if it's a wild fish. Coming out here. I mean, that was like no joke, dude. It was freaking taking off. Like we could see it, the water here is so clear. It was like, zoo, 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 zoo. Almost ran into that other boat. If that guy wasn't paying attention, that could have been bad. So, the way you can tell that this fish is a wild, you see this fin right here? Uh, yeah. So that's an adipose fin. So that's how you can tell it's a wild fish. There you go. There he is, folks. Nice job, Mike. So with these wild fish, you gotta take really good care of them. You can't really hold them out of the water very long and you gotta release them quick. So we're just gonna send him on his way. Swims right off. There he goes. <laughs> nice job, sick. dude. Oh, they got snappers. 
Like how up? Way up. About 15. Yeah, that one will be. Yeah. He's there. It's real, Mike. I don't know if I can. <laughs> 40 on the counter and that mega wad. Keep real, Mike. Don't even pump. Try not to pump. Just real. real. Fast, real. Fast, real. Keep real fast. I don't even know if I can, dude. God, these things are freaking... Marlon, get on the motor for me. Oh, he's at the top. Fast, real. Fast, real. Holy. Good job, buddy. Good job. Jeez. Forward and right, Marlon. You got some other wild. Box on, boys. <laughs> what is going on, dude? It's freaking fighting, dude. <laughs> Holy crap. I'm not in freaking Delaware right now. Oh my god, dude. That's like a workout. You're in the Pacific Northwest, baby. Like yeah, that. don't lift too high. Just kind of keep a steady reel. Like, don't really stop pausing and just keep nice reeling. Fun. You're going to reel extra fast when that flasher comes up and out of the water. You're going to reel all the way up to that bead and we're going to steer him into the net, okay? Yep. Reel all the way down to that bead. Okay, hold on. Yep. Holy. Flip. Oh. Holy. Yeah. Really? Yeah, boy. Okay, go. Oh. Jeez. That's no joke, dude. Holy oh, crap. I need to take a nap it. now. <laughs> Freaking yeah. mouth, dude. Let's see if we can get him in the sunlight there. Sheesh. It's a nice. Shoo. <laughs> yeah, make sure you point it that way. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Sheesh. Nice fish. Yeah. <laughs> Holy crap. As you guys saw that, I was struggling there a little bit. I mean, we don't really, I can't really, you know, compare this to anything that we catch in Delaware. I mean, besides, sometimes we have big bluefish runs, but I mean, they do not pull anywhere. Like they pull, they pull hard. But not like a king. Yeah, wait till you eat this thing. <laughs> the, be, the, the best part about that's the best eating salmon there is. Really? Yeah. They're amazing, dude. Yeah, yeah. believe I've only had king salmon one time, but it was not like this lively. Dude, it was. You're gonna, this will blow your mind. Yeah, it was. It was dark, like near the end of its life. So, I mean, this guy looks. Good job, dude. Good job, he was healthy. Brother. All right, let's bleed him, guys. <laughs> so dirty right now. Man. Oh, I got a fish. You got a bite, yeah. Oh, I caught it. Oh, that's a good one. Oh my god. No. Oh my god. Oh, let's go. Oh my god. Oh yeah. Ten. Keep real. Lift, 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 lift. Lift, lift, lift. Oh, oh my god, oh, dude, that almost smacked, <laughs> did you get that? No. Oh, they almost smacked me in the face. Oh yeah. Triple? Triple? No, no. Are you kidding me? Oh my god. Oh my god, it's the freaking ball, dude. Just walk back to me, guys. How is that fish still on there? Okay, mine's free. Well, my fish? Yeah. I don't know. Scoop him. Yes! The half tree? Keep rolling. Hold on. Put the tip to me right now, guys. Right now. Get the tip. What is going on? Dude? Triple! Dude, keep rolling. Triple! <laughs> okay. That was one. That worked something. Yeah, he's in his anchor for sure. He's gonna suck with this knife. <laughs> Good time. Is that the strat you cut the fins off? What's that? You cut the fins off first? Yeah, because it makes it way easier to fillet it. So you cut the fins off, and then what I do is I just cut up the butthole right here. Like show. 
slimy little effer. Oh wow, that's an orange, huh? Mm -hmm. And then this, this is why this knife sucks because what you have to do here is go down and it's hard to like get a turn with this big knife in here. But I should be able to do it. I might have a small one. Yeah, you grab it like that. Wow. Oh my god. <laughs> wow. Look at that meat. So is that because of what it's eating? Nicole? Exactly, yep. And then what we do here is I just take these bones here and you're just gonna kind of work your knife down. Again, it's really hard with these big giant knives like this, but. <laughs> I mean, you're making it look easy. What does that mean? It's trying it's to fillet these fish. All right, y'all, that is pretty much going to do it here for this little fishing part of the video. Again, big shout out. Thank you so much, man. Absolutely, man. It's crazy. Like, if you guys are not already, please make sure to go down there, check out their channel. It's just, like I was saying in their video, like, it, it's, I'm very thankful to be coming here at this time um, because they said that does not happen very often, like, to get all these salmon, giant salmon, um, and, you know, we had to switch some stuff up. It was a little slower in the beginning, but that, that was crazy, dude. It so changed real quick. Yeah, man, that was, it was just so much fun. It was a workout. So we're gonna get back. We have salmon in there. Kelsey's gonna be very excited. Yeah, let's take a look. I, I was asking him how much he thinks like this would cost at a freaking, like that thing is heavy, dude. Heavy, like, heavy. That's I mean, literally, so this is what they call spring Chinook, summer Chinook, and a lot of them in the Columbia River, they call them basically Columbia River gold because it's like one of the best sought after fish that we have in this river. And they're literally like, I think it's like $69 a pound right now at this at the grocery store. That's crazy. Yeah. Man. So so we're going to bring that back. He, I, of course, I never prepared, so he loaned me this. I'll give it back to him tomorrow. But we're going to be doing a lot more stuff with them. So you'll see that in the near future. But yeah, man, thank you again for taking me out there today. Absolutely, buddy. Thanks amazing. for coming. And then six shots and B-roll on their channel. Thanks. This guy right there. Oh, yeah, let's get it better. There we go. There we go. <laughs> this guy right there. You guys are going to be seeing cool videos from them too. And uh, yeah, man, let's get back to the RV. Chef first day's about to come out. All right, what is up, y'all? Back in the kitchen with Chef First Day. Let me show you a little, little bit of our ingredients right here. So, we have two fillets of this freshly caught salmon. I hope you could see in this lighting, like the color. Look at that. It is ridiculous. So, we have a left piece, we have a right piece. I told Kelsey, look. We'll each cook a piece of salmon. We'll see who can cook it a little bit better. So she chose this piece, and uh, she has a big thing of butter on the top. So what did you put on yours, Kelsey? Salt, pepper, garlic powder, crushed red pepper, lemon juice, and butter. Secret formula. So I was thinking, man, I, first of all, just look at this color. That's like, like, look at that color. And it's thick, too. So this is like, this is gonna be crazy, man. Last time we caught salmon, um, I actually have a video of that on my channel. We were in New York. I'll uh, leave that down in the description. If I didn't already say that, I don't know if I said that already. But that salmon was kind of like near the end of its life. This just came in from the ocean. So and it's Pacific Ocean too. I don't even know if I've ever had Pacific salmon or anything like this, but basically what we're gonna be doing, man, seasoning this dude up. We're gonna do a little taste test comparison. Oh, it's already changing color where she put the seasoning on. All right, so we got this booted up. Um, yeah, let's do this. All right, so we have a mix of different things. I don't want to go overboard too spicy, so probably not going with the OG today. Um, so we have these two right here that a company sent me a long time ago. If you ever want to send me anything, I have a PO box. Uh, that'll be down in the description below. It's in all my video descriptions. But, so they sent an Alaskan salmon seasoning. Hello, can you focus? I kind of was like, yo, maybe we should do that, but I really do like this one. And they just sent me this too. It's not paid promotion or anything, but this is gourmet fish seasoning. It has like a little bit of lemon stuff in there. So we're going to go bop that around on top. I don't want to season it too much, to be honest. Pepper. All right. I also ended up just like a pinch. I had to do a little slap you mama. So we're going to put it in right now. You're going to do the honors. Ooh. 
Look at that. Right there, we're steaming up a little bit. That, uh, oh yeah, we're coming over, huh? What do you think, dude? Camper, what do you think of that? Fresh caught salmon, he just had dinner too. I'm sure he would demolish this. So, yeah, we're gonna test this out. This is the one that I cooked. Oh man, this is like, like you could see the fat just kind of like oozing up over the top. It's thick too, like this is a big piece of, big piece of meat right here. I mean, come on. You go to the grocery store, you go to wherever, you're not gonna get it like this, man. First time ever trying fresh Pacific salmon, just caught. You gotta try that, Kelsey. She's going to, she has her piece over there. Oh my God. Oh my, all right, so here's what's going on. Well, Chef Kelsey, you tell them what's going on. Got some thick and creamy mac and cheese, Ooh. asparagus, and this is my salmon. Yeah, I'm gonna have a taste of that. What do you think, dude? What do you think, Campy, you look good? This is my plate, I was munching on this. It's more buttery. You would like a thicker piece, I feel like, too. Yeah, yours might be better. What the heck? We're pretty much gonna finish off this video here. We're gonna be doing some more, hopefully, salmon stuff that you guys are gonna see, and some other stuff, which I don't wanna talk about right now, but if this happens, it's gonna be the coolest thing, like one of the coolest videos on my freaking channel, so stay tuned for that. And again, man, make sure, please make sure to go over there, check out the Addicted Fishing guys, link down in the description. And uh, yeah, man, that's pretty much gonna be here for this video today. Again, thank you so much for all the freaking support. All I gotta say, man, so let's keep this rolling. Thank you guys for watching. See you next video.